Hey everyone, welcome back to another plan with me. I am filming this a little bit earlier than I normally do. Um, today is actually Friday and Monday is actually a holiday so I knew I wasn't going to film then most likely just in case we weren't going to be home. Um, so I'm doing this today and then I will upload it on Monday. Um, so you can see my week isn't completely done but you can see the first half of the week and I will just post a picture on my Instagram of the completed week if you guys are interested in that. I did start um, a planner Instagram and a few of you have actually started following on there so thank you thank you so much. Um, my planner Instagram is Danielle Amanda plans and I will link that down below. I hope you guys will follow me and share your planner pictures with me as well. Um, so yeah I'm going to go ahead and start decorating next week's. Um, so I don't have a lot to put down because I'm not 100% sure what exactly is going on next week this week's not even done but i can definitely do like the decorating um and for this week i am thinking of doing kind of a more like patriotic type spread because like i said monday is labor day and then 9 11 actually falls on this week so i do want to commemorate that i've gone ahead and chosen some washi so red white and blue washi um, I'm not sure yet if I want to cover up like the gold I might just leave it I don't think it looks that bad um, and then I do have some stickers that I want to use I'm planning on using this kit specifically from papered kiss uh, I don't believe they have this on their Etsy store anymore just because I believe this was a 4th of July set I actually got it in a mystery misprint and I was thinking of holding on to it for 4th of July but honestly that's like almost a year away and let's be real I get new stickers all the time and I'm sure next year they'll have a whole different like um, 4th of July themed um, kit so I'm gonna start with washi like I normally do I really wanted to use this kind of like lace washi tape I have one in red and then I have a like blue lace washi and I honestly can't remember where I got these um, they're online maybe eBay I'm not really sure um, but yeah, so I'm probably going to use those and then I have this one from Scotch Expressions and this one from We Are Memory Keepers and I think I'll bring those in as well. But yeah, I love this lace. I think this will just add a nice like girly touch to this kind of red, white, and blue theme. So I think I'm going to take the red lace washi and put it along the bottom and I've already gone ahead and cut a little like flag shape out of it. Um, this washi isn't all that sticky, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, thankfully, with, when it's on the paper, it sticks pretty well to it. It just doesn't like to stick to itself, which is kind of annoying, but that's okay. As long as it sticks to my paper, I guess that's really all that matters. Um, so, what are you guys doing for the three-day weekend? Actually, by the time you watch this, it'll already be Monday, or maybe you're even watching this even later. So, I'd love to know what you guys ended up doing this weekend. I hope you guys had a good holiday weekend for those of you who live in the United States anyway. Um, and then if you live other places, I just hope you guys had a great weekend in general. Um, I'm not sure what we're doing yet. We don't have any like big plans or anything for like Labor Day weekend, but I'm just happy that it is a three day weekend. That's always a good thing. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the blue lace washi and put it along the bottom. So I think that, that looks really cute and I do want to decorate the sides a little bit and I think I'm going to take these two washi tapes. This one, like I said, is from Scotch Expressions and this one is from We Are Memory Keepers and I think I will take like a long piece and I'll make this a flag as well. I want this to go down the center, but maybe I should put the blue first to help me kind of figure out where the center is going to be. Okay, so I will do the red after. I'll do this one first. And I think this I'm going to cut at a diagonal maybe. So I think I want to mirror this cut on the other side. I'm going to try really hard to line this up as best as I can but also trying to line it up along the edge too. All right, I guess that's 
That looks okay. And then I'll bring in the red one and put it down the middle. And now I haven't, like, I now know where the middle actually is. Here we go. I kind of like that. It's different. Um, something I haven't done before, but I kind of like it. I'll cut this off. So I have that. I'm kind of wondering if I should have gone like all the way to the top. Actually, I should I should have looked to see if I have a sticker that I can put here. I will be right back. Okay, so I grabbed some of my Mambi sticker books and I think I want to use one of these in the corner. I have decided to use this one which says today is a gift and I'm going to put it in this top corner. It just, it feels weird to me that this is like starting so low and there's nothing up here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and decorate that up there. Um, but first I'll put some washi down to fill up space that probably won't be covered. pretty good and I think I'm going to take this skinny red washi and put it along this side just really quickly. <laughs> I think it would be really cute to put the lace washi up here going the opposite direction so it kind of looks like a little bit of a banner. I just want to quickly see how that looks like. I just can't help myself. I love cute washi and I just want to use it like all over the place. How does that look? I think that that looks pretty good. Yes, I am really liking that and I guess I will go ahead and put down my decorative boxes just to hold their place and I think I want to put it in the middle sections um, because I normally put like YouTube in the middle and I most likely won't be doing anything YouTube related on Monday and then I don't do that much on Fridays except for today because I'm filming this early um, so I think I'm going to put this red and white polka dot one in this box do I have space it's also my mom and dad's anniversary on this day so I think I want to take one of the like half boxes I'm not sure if I want to do the red or the blue and white polka dot to contrast let's do the red and I hope that there's enough space here I think that's cute and then I think I'll take these little like dots maybe and like try to cover up this bottom part just so it's not like sticking out underneath a few of you actually suggested to use tweezers for like little itty bitty stickers like this and I had seen someone do that in a video so I think I'm going to give it a try. I'm just going to use these tweezers I got in an Ipsy bag. I honestly did not like them at all. I felt like they didn't tweeze anything so hopefully they will work better for like sticker placement which already I'm like why didn't I try this before because that actually works really really well so if you guys have trouble using teeny tiny stickers use some tweezers and thank you for those people who brought it to my attention that I could use these because it really works. Yeah, for some reason I feel like that just looks a little bit better, like it looks more decorative. I don't know, that could just be me. You're probably like, that was really pointless, but I like it. So that is what I'm gonna put there and then I'll take this box. Did I just rip it? And then I'll take this uh, red, white, and blue striped one and I'll put it here. But I think I want to put some washi um, on top and on the bottom of it so that it kind of stands out a little bit more and that there's not like that weird like empty space. So let's just put some down here. And then I think I'll put my weekend banner down and I have four of them here. So I'm just going to take one of them and place it on the weekend. And I do have these full checklists as well as like half box checklists. 
So I'll put the full ones on the weekdays and then I will put the half ones on the weekends and I'll just alternate with these. So there's five and I have one, two, three, four. I want to use these five I think and I'll save this like light pink one for something else. also going to mark YouTube stuff and I'm going to use these flags as well as these YouTube icons. These are from Bear Bear Crafts and I'll just put them like in the middle section here and again I'm just going to alternate colors. Oh my gosh I just ripped that. <laughs> What? I don't see anything. What you looking at, Bear Bear? And I also have a bill due on the 9th, which is my cable and internet bill. So I'm going to take the last flag that I have from the list. And I think I'm going to use one of the dollar bill signs and put one inside to mark um, that bill that's due. Um, if you guys happen to hear crying, Bear, what are you doing? It is Bear. He is crying about something. I'm not really sure what, but he's crying. Yeah, you are. What are you crying about? What's wrong? I don't know what you want. Do you see a bug? Do you see a bug? Yeah? And like I mentioned, September 11th is also my mom and dad's anniversary, so I think I'm going to take one of these teardrops and put a little icon inside of it. Um, so I think I'll take this dark blue one, like that, and then I'll take this one. Um, it's kind of like a wine glass. I'm going to use it to mark their anniversary. I don't know if this is the best one. There was a heart on here, but I just feel like the heart is blue. Actually, you know what? Maybe the heart one would work. Save the wine glass and see if this heart one doesn't look too bad on top of the blue. It might actually be, oh my gosh. PJ, what, what are you doing? You're scaring mommy. Okay, yeah, I actually like the little heart in there so I guess I can save the wine glass for something else. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I have to do this week or anything I want to remember. I know that on the 11th, Continuum comes back on. Does anybody else watch that show? Um, I believe this is the final season for it. So I'm going to use, I don't have any TV icons on here surprisingly, but I'll just use one of these teardrops, I guess, to mark that. Or let's see, what else do I have? and we'll put a blue asterisk inside or should we do a light pink one we'll go with the light pink that's super cute so i think that's it i'm just going to try to fill in as much as i can and like i said since i am planning this really early um i don't really know 100 percent what's going on next week but i'll do whatever i know for sure is happening
like the bottom section is looking pretty bare so I kind of want to decorate it a little bit more. I'm not 100% sure what I want to do yet but I know that on the side I think I want to put the full box. I might as well. There's only a few more stickers on this sheet so I think I will go ahead and just like utilize them on the side maybe. So I might put this guy down and maybe a checklist to kind of keep track of like groceries I guess I need to buy or like a shopping list or even a to-do list maybe. Maybe I'll bring in some of the scotch washi again and use this here just to again give it a little bit more color. That should do it. This is the problem that I have when I don't really know what's going on in the week. I end up feeling like there's a lot of blank space, so I need to like throw stuff on the page, which is why I ended up with a ton of washi. But then again, that's not really a surprise because I love my washi tape. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this red, white, and blue theme turned out. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's all filled in. I always like how it looks better like when there's like writing on the page and whatnot. But like I said, if you guys are interested in seeing what this week's spread ends up looking like, I will post a picture on my planner Instagram. So definitely check that out if you guys are interested. And I'll probably post a sneak peek of this on my Instagram as well. But anyway, I hope you guys have or had a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed it, I hope you guys will give this video a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more plan with me's in the future and a quick hello to all of my new subscribers thank you and welcome to my channel I really enjoy having you guys here um, but yeah again I would love to see your spreads for the week definitely share them with me on Instagram or on Twitter or wherever else you follow me you can even send me a quick email if you'd like thank you so much for watching again I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day I'll talk to you guys later Bye.